the Solar PV TV. We're here at the Solar Show in Johannesburg, and I'm joined by Igor Herrarte of Mondragon Assembly and Alessandro Andalini of Covmi. Igor, thank you for having us at your booth. Not at all. Thank you. And thank you, Alessandro, for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, Christian. It's a pleasure to be here. So my first question is, what, do the, what does the outlook look like for opportunities for manufacturing here in South Africa? I think South Africa is an interesting country for us because uh, it's an interesting country for uh, PV. They have a lot of sun, they have a lot of uh, land, and they need electricity. So I think it's an interesting country. And uh, they are pushing uh, uh, South African industry, so I think uh, we will do good business here. And how does this look from a component manufacturer's perspective? Right, um, as you know, Kovime produced back sheet, uh, in, and we have two manufacturing sites, one in Italy and one in China. I've been traveling in this market for many years, uh, and uh, it's now been, I think, the fifth year that I'm here. At the beginning, there were two producers. What we are interested in is solar PV producer. And uh, today, I can see there are, they double the number, and there are many projects running. Many companies are, are still planning to set up their factory here. Uh, you know, the RE, IPPPP program has started and now it's, it's reached fourth round. We don't know whether the fifth round will be held or not, but the opportunities are here. There is a huge market to be exploited, uh, not only for utility on utility scales, but also in residential and commercial. And I think this will play a big role as soon as you know the, the net metering will be in place also that could be a good opportunity to factories to come here and that, that's why we are looking forward to see this and igor what are your thoughts on um the potential closure of the reipp obviously there's been a tremendous amount of solar deployed under this program to date but we haven't gotten the results of the fourth round the fifth round isn't necessarily coming how does this affect uh the outlook for manufacturing from your perspective I think it's a problem, but it's a little problem because I think uh, here the government uh, is sure that uh, they will go for uh, solar energy and uh, for all renewable energy. So I think uh, they will close this uh, fourth uh, round soon and they will go for the five and for the six and for the seven. Yeah. So we're, we've been talking about South Africa, but what about other opportunities? Are you seeing other opportunities for manufacturing coming in the rest of Sub-Saharan Africa, Alessandro? Yes, I think this is a gateway uh, location to export the PV modules uh, all around the world. As you know, uh, if you produce outside of China, you're not subject to the anti-dumping in the U.S. And, and so this could be an opportunity. And also to serve uh, uh, other markets. You see the African markets is uh, growing, they say mainly to cover the lack of electricity. As you can see also in South Africa, there, there were huge problems with those blackouts, and there still are. And ESCOM is having a great uh, tough time now to reduce these blackouts. And, uh, so this could be an, an opportunity, having a factory here uh, for the local market and also for other markets, also in the Middle East. Also in the Middle East. That's why we are planning as Coveme to have a warehouse here, so then it's easier to serve our products here without having to wait for a long transit time. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Igor, do you see other opportunities for manufacturing in other sub-Saharan African nations? Uh, now we are centering our efforts in the South African country, but uh, we hope that some other countries, not far from here, will start uh, manufacturing uh, modules. Yeah, but I think the first one, the main interest for us is still uh, South Africa. Anything about this manufacturing, the manufacturing angle in Sub-Saharan Africa that we didn't catch on that you think would be important for our viewers to know? Well, you know, there are big big producers started to set up the factory, ABB, SMA, and also some Jinko uh, uh, as a big PV producer, and many other are now starting, and there are projects in hand. Uh, the thing is, is the financial background uh, 
uh, important. I mean, the, 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 as you know, to set up a factory, you need a good borrowing rate. You need to have already a, a market here, which is not the case now. The market is starting now. So I think that is a question mark. But overall, I believe there will be a manufacturing country here. Your thoughts, Igor? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, this country needs, will need more and more uh, PV modules. And I think countries around will do the same. So I'm quite uh, positive in this way. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Alessandro. Thank you, Igor, for taking the time to talk with us and for having us at your booth. This is Solar PV TV, and we're here at the Solar Show in Johannesburg.